molecular mass of polymer molecular mass of polymer that means the structure and mass of the polymer generally express or expresses its properties here during the polymerization the length of the polymer depends upon the number of monomers available during the synthesis hence it is better to express the molecular masses in average values here the two types of expressions are used by us to express or to identify molecular masses they are number average number average molecular mass second one is weight average weight average sorry here e weight average molecular mass once again the chain present in polymer may vary based on the number of monomers available during the preparation of such polymer this is the reason why it is better to express the molecular mass of any polymer in average values so the average value of mass of polymer expressed in two are identified determined in two different methods number average molecular mass and weight average molecular mass let us learn what is number average molecular mass here the number of, before going to express how to identify number average molecular mass of given polymer so i want to consider the polymer may having similar type of monomers or different types of monomers for that reason i want to take a polymer which consists of or which made up of n1 number of n1 number of monomers having m1 mass value similarly n2 number of another monomers having m2 mass value n3 number of monomers having m3 mass value it continuously takes place which indicates n i number of monomers having n i number of sorry m i number of mass value means polymer may be with similar monomer or different types of monomer reacted with each other so in any polymer n1 number of monomers which consists of m1 atomic or molecular mass n2 number of monomers which consists of m2 etc it takes place then we can consider the total mass of polymer is equals to is equals to n1 m1 plus n2 m2 plus n3 m3 plus continuously takes plus up to n i m i we can express it as summation n is equals to 1 where i n i m i how to identify total number of atoms or uh, total number of monomers present in the total number of monomers monomers present in given polymer is equals to n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus continuously up to ni so we can express it as summation n is equals to 1 i n i then from these two we can derive number average molecular mass this number average molecular mass is indicated with m bar n number average molecular mass expressed with a denoted with a word that is m bar n where m 
bar n or small n is equals to that is number average molecular mass is equals to n1 m1 plus n2 m2 plus n3 m3 plus continuously up to ni mi by n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus up to n that we can write it as summation n is equals to 1 i n i m i by summation n is equals to 1 i n i so this is the used equation to derive number average molecular mass of given polymer and second one second one more method is also available to identify molecular masses of given polymer that is weight average weight average molecular mass weight average molecular mass this weight average molecular mass is indicated with or expressed with or denoted with m bar w so number average molecular mass is expressed with m bar n whereas weight average molecular mass is expressed with m bar w here once again the same thing the weight average molecular mass of any given polymer identified as so the same concept as in previous case i would like to consider a polymer which consists of different types of monomers the first monomer the number of first monomers are n1 which are having w1 or m1 weight and n2 number of poly monomers having m2 here m2 such type n1 number of monomers with m1 molecular weight n2 number of monomers with m2 molecular weight similarly n i number of monomers with m i molecular weight then how to calculate total weight the total weight so remember the total mass is different from total weight the total weight of given polymer the total weight of given polymer will be equals to m1 n1 m1 square plus n2 m2 square plus it takes place till n i m i square we can represent it as summation n is equals to 1 i n i m i square similarly the total mass of given polymer from the previous n1 m1 plus n2 m2 plus infinity ni mi so we can write it as summation n is equals to 1 i n i m i so the ratio between the total weight of polymer and total mass of polymer so that means nothing but weight average molecular mass of given polymer m bar w is equals to the total weight of polymer by total weight of mass of polymer n1 m1 square plus n2 m2 square plus infinity n i m i square by n1 m1 plus n2 m2 plus infinity n i m i so we can also write it as summation n is equals to 1 i n i m i square by summation n is equals to 1 i n i m i so this is the equation used to derive weight average molecular mass of given polymer so once again 
the polymers may have different number of monomers based on their availability at the time of synthesis so it is better to express mass in average value so two types of methods are two methods are used by us to derive the mole molecular mass of given polymer the first one is number average molecular mass second one is weight average molecular mass number average molecular mass is represented as m bar n whereas weight average molecular mass is represented as m bar w